In this video, we'll look at the Delta Mesh Deformer in Maya, a powerful tool for cleaning up mesh deformation after skinning or rigging. We'll demonstrate it using this hand mesh, focusing on the elbow fold. What is Delta Mesh? Delta Mesh helps to smooth out mesh deformations without destroying the rig. It works especially well after skinning, where joints often cause unnatural pinching or jagged folding. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to use a Delta Mesh deformer. To fix this, select the skinned mesh and go to Deform, then Delta Mesh. You'll notice the deformation becomes smoother and the volume is preserved better. Now let's explore the Delta Mesh settings in the Attribute Editor. Smoothing Iterations. This controls how many times the deformer smooths the mesh. Higher values equal smoother results, but too high and you might lose form. Smoothing step adjusts the intensity of each smoothing pass. Start low. 0.5 is a good default and go up if needed. Pin border vertices. This locks the outermost vertices to their position, more visible in fingers or wrist part. Displacement controls how far the mesh can move during smoothing. Lower it to keep the mesh closer to its original shape. Scale limits smoothing by axis. Set Y or Z lower if the mesh is flattening in that direction. Inward constraint stops the mesh from collapsing inward. Great for areas like elbows. Outward constraint prevents the mesh from bulging out too much. Keeps volume in check. Distance weight applies more smoothing to nearby vertices. Helpful for dense areas like hands or faces. Envelope controls the overall strength of the deformer. Set it to zero to disable or key it for animation control. And that's the Delta Mesh Deformer in Maya. Whether you're cleaning up elbows, knees or facial rigs, it's a fast, easy way to get smooth, believable deformation. Next up, we'll explore another essential deformer in the toolkit. Don't forget to like, subscribe and drop a comment if you have questions.